Oh, it's gonna be a hot summer. It's not even summer yet, but it is hot. Mind you, I'm from a tropical country and I don't like the heat. I hate the heat. I hate being sweaty. I hate it. So get ready, you guys. They say August gonna be the worst. The worst, the hottest month ever. With all that aside, welcome to my channel, you guys. If you appreciate the content, if you appreciate the realness, if you appreciate no clickbait, Please give this video a like because we don't do clickbaits over here. We jump straight to the story. I can assure you when you tune in, you are getting all the facts, everything that's being reported and more. So give this video a like and please consider subscribing to this channel. You guys, it's not looking good for Megan Good and Jonathan Majors. Listen to this. Megan Good is starring in a new movie about domestic violence. And it's a little awkward considering what her boyfriend, Jonathan, just went through in real life. Megan is the lead actress in Tyler Perry's latest drama called Divorce in the Black, which follows a woman as she tries to escape a violent partner. The trailer was released Thursday. Guess what? Megan also showed up for a premiere of her new flick Thursday in LA. And guess what? Megan did the same thing that Jennifer Lopez, J Lo, did, okay? She showed up by herself without Jonathan. Megan, what is going on? You can tell us. I mean, they've been dating for the last year. She was with him in the middle of his assault trial. She stood by the abuser. And now it's her turn to get some spotlight, get some support. He did not show up. He did not come through for her. He did not bring those pursed lips to the red carpet. He left her all alone on that red carpet. That's not good, Megan. That is not good. So this guy is done. He's done pretending. And this is crazy. She has herself to blame because she allowed him to use her. Who the hell get with a guy when he's facing for freaking abuse accusations? He was found guilty. He got probation. He had to pay a fine. He had to get counseling. The guy is an abuser, but she got with him anyways. I don't think he was really into her. I mean, this is the most publicity that Megan Good has ever received during her entire career. I mean, let's be real. She has never received that level of publicity ever during her entire career. So she was loving it, I guess. He's lost major deals, a lot of deals. He's trying to get back in the limelight. And guess who's trying to get him back in the limelight? Hollywood Unlocked. He's about to receive <laughs> this award called the Impact Awards. Because they saw his spirit. Saw his spirit, you guys. The award is for those who keep shining no matter what life throws at them. Do you hear this? <laughs> and guess who else got this award before? Floyd Mayweather, another abuser. Jason Lee is down with Floyd Mayweather. He's down with the whole TMT, whatever the name of his thing is. So this guy is coming up with fake awards to give to people he's cool with, he's in business with. Does that make any sense? Oh, and guess what? Jason Lee's friend, Cardi B, is receiving the Inspiration Award. <laughs> this is a mess. This is a mess, really. They might as well give one to Diddy. Jason Lee, give Diddy an award too, why don't you? Jeez, you can't find any quality black entertainers? Are there none left? Like, seriously, we see your spirit as an airline. We see your spirit award. Keep going no matter what award. <laughs> so Jason Lee, you can't find better things to spend your money on than to come up with fake awards for your fake Hollywood friends. So will Megan Good be there when Jonathan received this fake award? I bet you she will. See, she always have to be there for his drama, his stuff. But when it comes to her project, he doesn't show up. Honestly, I don't think he's really into her. He just wanted a Coretta by his side during the trial. Remember, in the court, they played this audio of him telling his ex to act more like Coretta King Scott. Not Coretta King Scott, Coretta Scott King or Michelle Obama. How does he know how these people act, right? <laughs> 
So that was weird. Ooh, did you guys see? They were somewhere at an event and she faced him to kiss him and he gave her his cheek. That was a snub. Like the whole, the vibe, the body language, he was just like, uh, do I have to keep faking this? <laughs> I don't think he's into women. I really don't. I don't think he likes women. I think he's really, <laughs> yeah. So he's not going to fake it long. He's trying to get back in the limelight. So yeah, he, he's done. He's done faking it. He needs to stop playing with these women and really be himself, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that's all. That's it. That's it, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. Thank you. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.